there's this concept that I think applies really well here that we've probably heard a lot before. Um, be in the world, but not of the world. It's something that we hear a lot. There's two common errors that I think we run into here. First error is over-engaging with the world, and second error is disengaging from the world as Christians. The, you, you see a lot of Christians who want to be a part of the world to such a degree that they kind of accidentally slip into these different lusts and these different uh, prides and these different parts of the world. And, uh, maybe maybe even we shouldn't separate it out as two different groups of Christians. Maybe all of us apply to both of that in a little bit, but we'll at times as Christians accidentally fall into the, the captivation of the world because we're somewhat interested in that. On the other hand, we see as Christians, we sometimes disengage from the world. We're scared of the world. We run away from the world and pull ourselves from it and protect our kids from it and protect our families from it and protect ourselves from it and put up this wall where nobody can get to us. And we never want to be associated with like any type of sin or any type of badness. And we, we never want to be next to any, anything of that. And that is, is just a, a, an equal error, I think, to accidentally engaging the world. Our job isn't to pull ourselves from the world. Our job isn't to become part of the world. Our job is to be within the world, but transform the world around instead of letting the world transform us.